You ready, Lincoln? Yep. Hi, this is Catherine Roseland with, with Board Game Geek here at Spiel 2016. I'm sitting here with Eilif Svensson from Aporta Games, and he's here to talk about Capital Lux. Yes. So please, tell me about the game. This it's gorgeous a, artwork. Yeah, it's uh, actually an artwork from Quanshai Moria, uh, which is an American uh, artist. It's uh, hand-painted, so it's really gorgeous. It's four, really different, four different professions here, and also the cover. It's a tactical card game, two to four players. Uh, plays in about 30 minutes, and I can show you how it's played. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Each player has a hand of six cards, or five cards if you play four players. And uh, in the beginning of the round, you just draft cards, two and two cards, so you get a hand of six cards. Uh, on your turn, you either play a card in front of you, in your hometown. This is really talented profession, so you need, you want to keep them in your hometown. All right. But you are sometimes forced to place them in the middle of the table in the capital. Here. At the end of each round, when all players have played their cards, uh, you're going to check uh, the value in each of the colors with the value in your hometown compared to the value in the capital. And you should have highest possible value in your hometown, but never exceeding the value in the capital. Aha, uh -huh. so here where you're exceeding the value in, yes. in the capital, you... You actually lose that card. And the same would happen with this one. That will also be lost. Whereas these are all safe, because it's It's safe, same. and it's actually kept for the, for the next round. Uh, also so at the, something to build on yeah. to. Also at the end of the round, you compare, let's say you... Did you lose anything over there? Um, yes, this one. This one. This is it. That one. And those two. Yeah. No, those are safe. No, those are higher, so it's not safe. <laughs> five. Yeah, five? it's two fives. Oh, it's yeah. two fives. Yes. And so, so because it's a, tot it's it's a total, total value. Yeah. I see. All right. And then we compare who has the highest value in each of the professions, and uh, I have the highest value in yellow, so I actually get this one ah. as a bonus card for the end of the game. And then I have a highest in blue. Yeah, and you get this one as a bonus card. And then you have a highest in green. Yes. And now you can so see what is left in the capital is not much. And then for the next round, you have to actually build up again to make them survive. Yeah, So because yeah. now the blue and the green are both empty, so you yes. and the yellow is a little low. Yeah. One more thing to add, which is important. Um, when you play a card in front of you, nothing happens. It's just potential victory points. If you play a card in the middle of the table, you have special powers for each profession. Ah, and so when you play in the middle, you then activate that power? Kind of. If you play, for instance, this card in the middle of the table, you take the... Let's put some cards here, otherwise it's... Uh, let's say I played uh, this card in the middle of the table. We have another green here, somewhere. You can check there. There you go. <laughs> I can take the lowest card, I must take the lowest card of any of the other professions. So I can take this one or this one. So let's say I take this one and put it in my hometown. Ah. I must put it in my hometown, so it's a risk. Because now I have eight in my hometown and it's six there. I reduce the capital, increase my hometown. Um, if I place a blue card here, there are some modifier cards, for instance like this, yeah. That will, uh, you just draw the top one, look at it secretly. It's a plus two, but you don't know that. <laughs> and I place it above one of the professions. And that will affect the total value in that color at the end of the round. It's revealed at the end of the round and it will affect the total value. So that's a secret agent. If you play a green card, you draw from the pile, you get an extra card on hand. Ah. That's also a risk because the game, the round ends when one player's um, cards are exhausted. So if you have cards left then, you must play it in your hometown. Ah. Which could result in victory points, but it could also result in exceeding the... Exactly. Effort. And if you play the yellow card, you get one of these gold bars. <laughs> and um, you place it just in front of you. At the end of the round, you can actually reduce uh, in your hometown a color with one. Ah. So if you exceed by one, you, or you can have more of this. Okay, yeah, I was going to say, can yeah. you have several and you, at the same and, time? And then you spend them and then... Uh, yeah. The game ends after the third round, then you just uh, tally your points in your hometown, plus your bonus cards. If you have not used this one, these are worth one point each. The winner of the game is to play with the most points. Fantastic! <laughs>
And how long did you say the game took? 30 minutes. 30 uh, minutes around. and two to four players? Two to four players. So nice, quick, nice filler? Yes, it's kind of a gamer filler, it's easy rules, but, uh, but a, bit a of lot depth to consider it. it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sounds great, that yeah. is Capital Lux from Aporta Games.